time or even a regular routine then this might be something that you could begin to instill into your life with Christ and as we think about this time it doesn't need to be a long time but I will tell you that if you are in a hurry or there are a lot of things that are on your mind you're gonna have a hard time with this because spending time with God is not something that can be rushed and so what I want you to do is find a place that is quiet where you won't be disturbed. And I would say, you know, shoot for 10 minutes to start with. If you can do that, that would be a good thing to do. And get yourself settled in there. Get your favorite uh, Bible, um, whether it's electronic or paper, it doesn't matter. And what I want you to do is just start by just being quiet 
And what I mean by that is try to stop your mind from, from racing to one thing or another or be thinking about what you have to do the rest of the day, whether it's your to-do list, whether it's stuff at work, phone calls to make, whatever it might be. I want you just to stop and slow down and be quiet. It isn't prayer. It's just kind of trying to get out of the world a little bit. And then when you're ready, then you simply would say, I praise you, God. Give God some worship. Tell him who he is and thank him for who he is. What that does is that puts us in a proper reference to him. To just simply say, you're God and I'm not. You know what's going on, I don't. And I know you are worthy of praise. You are worthy of my worship and I come to you. And so I invite you to do that. And after you've done that, then just ask God for a simple prayer. God, show me what you want me to learn from this passage. And then read the passage. Today, I'm going to invite you to read We've been talking about wisdom this week. I'm going to invite you to read Ecclesiastes, which is in the Old Testament, right around the Psalms. And I'm going to ask you to read chapter 7, verses 1 through 14. And what I'm going to ask you to do is, is read it devotionally. And what I mean by that is read it with an open heart for what God might be trying to say to you through it. It means reading it slowly. It re means reading it a couple of times. And after you've kind of taken in whatever the scripture is, today it's Ecclesiastes, then I simply want you to go back to God and say, God, is there something in here that you want to say to me today? It's the same prayer that you prayed before you read it. And listen. Be quiet. Read the passage again and be looking for either a phrase that speaks to you or even a word that speaks to you. And as you do that, you are in this prayerful kind of perspective and saying, God, speak. Your servant's listening. And so take some time. And in that time, you may have something that very clearly jumps out at you. And if that's the case, that's great. But there may be a time where there is simply nothing there. And you know what? That's okay, too. That's okay, too. So, when you've done that and said, God, what do you have for me? If it is something, then take that word or that phrase or that thought or that idea that comes out of scripture and ask God what do you want me to do with this? What is it that you want me to understand? What do you want me to to change in my life? And God will direct you. And if there is nothing that comes out of that, then what I would do is I would then go and thank God for his word. Thank God that his word doesn't change. Thank God that he is here with you right now, even if there is no word or thought or idea that's been given to you.
And at that point, then if there is something that needs to be done, then ask God to help you to do that. If there's a change that needs to be made or someone you need to talk to or a new perspective that you need to have, that's where God will help and ask Him to help you in that regard. If it is something that has been given to you that applies in the larger world, then pray for that as well. Pray for how you might help be a catalyst in whatever that is. And then, then at that point, then move to what is known as intercession or praying for the things or people around you. And then be silent again. And simply ask God, is there anything else you want to say to me right now? And be silent and listen. If there isn't, then praise Him and close this devotional time by saying Amen. If there is, then maybe you need to do a little bit more work to explore what that is and ask Him to reveal that to you as well. I want you to take this little DIY package of devotion and try it out. Particularly if you don't regularly have a devotional time. Try this out and see how it fits in your life in how God has put you together by your personality and the things that draw you close to Him. There are lots of ways to draw close to God. But spending time with Him is the thing that must be done in order to accomplish that. Let me pray. Lord, thank you that you are a God who loves us and cares for us and desires the very best for us. Lord, I ask that you would bless the folks that would seek to take on this time of devotion as a new way to connect with you. Lord, bless them. You Let it be used by you for your glory and for their increased love and devotion to you. That is what I ask this day in your name. Amen. Well, I thank you, everyone. And we will see you Sunday for worship at 10 o'clock, whether in person or online. We'll talk soon. God bless. Bye-bye. Take courage in the fight. The weapons of this war are